another day and a, another chance for you to just hang out the window. I know. Hopefully I have some paper, ooh, a rock. Hopefully my paperwork is in here. We'll just have to find out. Any of that is mine. My name's not on none of that. And, ooh, I got the shivers. If my name's not on something, I don't know if it's mine or not, so I'm not gonna take it. I mess up way too much if I do that. Whoa. Okay, I just went into a company called Wells Trucking. We share a yard with them. Use the bathroom. I had, I had to use the bathroom. This place has washers, dryers, showers, TV lounge. Pretty nice, and I guess we have access to be able to use all this stuff. I never even knew it was that place existed. I didn't know we had access to all this amazing stuff. Well, tonight, got an interview with Gavin and Paula Kelly. Excited about that. Tonight, it, it's Sunday night. We got the three hour block. Yeah, I'm recording this Sunday. No, Saturday. Today's Saturday. What am I thinking? It's the day of the Tampa RV Super Show and I had to blow that off. I'm not gonna kid you guys. I was a little bit disappointed and a little bit bummed out. So much so that it put yesterday's video at jeopardy with negativity. I never like to have negativity in my videos, but yesterday it kind of happened. Overnight, a brand new RV park, right in a park, just appeared out of nowhere. It was like they worked overnight and created an RV park, put fake grass down, tore up all the trees, and RVs were already in there when I woke up this morning. Out of the blue, it just happened and it was shocking. And something I should have been very happy about, I shot a video with negativity in it when I shouldn't have. It should have been something I was very happy to see. And now, as the day progressed, I'm, I'm definitely happy about it. And you know why? It's because I just found out we have washers and dryers at our yard here. I could do laundry next time I come home. Or, not home, but Winter Haven anyway. Close enough to home. A little bit of sunshine. And a little bit of noise when you try and record video. In every day of our lives. Our lives have up and send downs. I don't like the downs, I like the ups. I have driven now at least 150 miles. I'm up in Georgia. Look at that sky, that's not Florida blue, that's Georgia gray. Totally crazy, it was like nice and warm at home. Drive 100 miles, it's freezing. I I should be wearing a jacket right now if if I had one. God, while I'm getting fuel, it's probably best just to hang out in here. My company's doing a pretty good job of keeping me out of the really, really cold weather. But, I mean, where I'm at, it's still cold. It's just not that bitter Pennsylvania, Minnesota, Chicago type cold. I think I spoke too soon. Didn't I? You guys can't see her. It's dark. It's dark, but yeah, it's bitter cold. Last clip said it wasn't, but it is. What is she looking at? Cold, it's so cold outside. Oh, it's freezing. I got something, if there's any other drivers out there that watch my channel, have, do you guys ever find it weird? Like, well, let's say, uh, okay, so they just called me up to go get my paperwork. I hired a lumper to empty out my trailer. After 30 years of driving, I'm realizing something. Now that they're kind of forcing you and charging you to take the stuff off your trailer, you're kind of hiring them, right? You're giving them a check and hiring somebody, hiring a lumper. Doesn't that make you their boss? So like when I went in, I told him, I said, okay, here's the money. When you're done, bring the bills and paperwork out to me. They call me on the phone just now, your bills are ready, come on in. I said, no, no, I told you to bring them out to me. They said, yeah, we don't normally do that. And I said, yeah, but I hired you. 
I'm, that makes me your employer. Yeah, but we don't do that. Hmm. It's just a thought. A Love's Truck Stop with a pet area. Carolina's got it going on. Not only do they have a pet area, I mean, it's too cold to take your pets outside, I think. I gotta get fuel and swim trunks. Yeah, feel bad for the pets. But also, this Love's, you could do your laundry here. That, pilots and love, you normally can't do laundry. I hope this is a trend. Well, kitty, because it's far too cold today to do anything, and it looks like we're gonna be heading to colder temperatures because we have to go to Minnesota. Walmart, get you some new treats. Get her some new treats. And get me a little something for For what? I don't know. I don't know if I'm ever going to use this. But let's go inside the store and I'll tell you what my thoughts are. She will get out of my way and let me out the door. Hey, you, you, hey, you know what? You can stare out the window the whole time I'm in the store. I'll be back. I'll be back. You just, you just hang out. I know, I'll be back. So I need some fabric. This color for that one green thing and then as I'm walking by would you look at these awesome pinatas some of you guys are probably asking yourself Rick what did you need this for why did you want a piece of green fabric well I'll tell you I'm gonna let you guys know not much to do today I'm picking up a load of chicken down the street it's frigid cold outside I really can't do too much I mean I'm not gonna go outside and shoot video today it's cold it's like 37 degrees out so I got an email from StreamYards, which everybody that uses StreamYards probably got the same email with a embedded video inside of it, stating that you can now use green screens on StreamYard. How exciting is that? We can have a, dra a backdrop that shows us in the snow freezing or down by the beach or up in the mountains or next to a nice warm brick fireplace. It sounds stupid, right? But I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to hang this back up, put some lights on it, and I'm going to try going live and see if it actually works. If you can make something work like that, I've only spent five bucks. That piece of fabric cost me five bucks. So I'm not losing out if it doesn't work. But I'm going to give it a shot. That's my plan. Oh, this is so cool, guys. Wait until you check this out. So this is behind me. I just mounted it up with some sticky tape because you really can't put holes in somebody else's vehicle. So sticky tape it was. And check this out. We're on. I mean, I got my cousin Eddie behind me. How sweet is that? Five bucks. And I could change the pictures. I could do whatever I want. Put image, I could put a movie, fire roaring, a campfire, something. This is gonna be cool. It's all because I wasted five dollars. That test went complete. I went live. Worked pretty good, but I did realize if anybody's planning on doing this, see their shadows kind of, that has to be lit really, really well for it to work properly. But even without it work or lit properly, it actually worked. I just need to make some modifications and my live streams are gonna be beyond beyond anything YouTube has ever seen. Check my fuel level. I'm gonna go ahead and go get something to eat. What? Ooh, that sun is bright. I'll be back. I'll be back. Don't give me that look. Someone calling me? It happens. Well, last night's test of the green screen success I did it again just now before I came in to get something to eat and it was even more of a success still a little bit of flaws in it you really have to have the proper lighting but it's something to play with and it looks like I'm probably gonna have some time to play with it a little more this week because right now I'm on my way to Minnesota they got me going into that cold bitter north and if I get snowed in somewhere, 
I'm just going to be doing a lot of live streaming. Nothing much else to do. No, I don't want to oversaturate my stream with green screen stuff. You get a new toy, you want to play with it. You just don't want to overdo it. I promise you, once the newness wears off, I'll stop and only use it sparsely. But until then, oh, you're stuck with green screen. Stuck with it. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead, grab a bite to eat, and I'll talk to you on the next one. I can't get through here. i got to go around this truck. He's got it blocked up down there. I'm going to go ahead and sign off, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, all the good stuff that everybody does on YouTube. And I'll check you guys on the next one. Until then, oh, let's step away. Peace out, everybody.